A 20-year-old man in Singapore has pleaded guilty to a series of sexual crimes, including incidents involving his stepsister when he was around 14 years old. The accused admitted to one count of commissioning a sexual act by a child and two counts of sexually penetrating minors. The shocking revelation of his actions has sent a ripple through Singaporean society, sparking discussions about the safety of minors and the legal consequences of such offences. Adding to the severity of his crimes, the accused also sexually penetrated his underage girlfriend without using protection, resulting in her becoming pregnant. He had previously received a conditional warning for the offences, but breached it by committing the same crime again. This repeat offence demonstrates a blatant disregard for the law and the rights of his victims, further damaging the trust placed in him by those close to him. Prosecutors argued against probation, stating that the accused had committed serious sexual offences that robbed the victims of their innocence. This hard stance taken by the prosecution reflects the gravity of the crimes committed and the necessity for a strong deterrent sentence. The accused, despite his desire to support his family and continue his national service, if given a second chance, faces a harsh reality check in the form of potential legal repercussions. The court ordered a suitability report for reformative training, a rehabilitation program for offenders under 21 who commit serious crimes. The accused is currently in remand and the next hearing is scheduled for November 8. The decision to consider reformative training indicates a preference for rehabilitation over retribution, potentially offering the accused a chance to rectify his actions and reintegrate into society. However, the extent of this opportunity will largely depend on the final judgment, which is eagerly awaited by the public.